Hi, I'm the owner of Timeless Microscope. We collect these old German microscopes, which we consider the finest ever made, because I spent years doing this. And, and people are afraid of these things, and they don't need to be. They are very German, which means they come out in their own way. And what we're going to do first <coughs> is, to, excuse me, is to show you how to take the condenser out. Let's take a look down below the stage here. This is the standard condenser that you see on these things. Swing in, swing out. In order to get it out of there, we have to bring the stage up. Pretend, pretend there's a nose piece here and there's lenses hanging down. We don't want to hit them, so you swing them out of the way. Get your lenses clear. In between stops, bring this up. And then over here, you have the condenser knob. Bring that down. Basically, you're making move, room for yourself. You bring the focus up, and you bring the condenser rack down. Now you have room. You want to swing the top lens into the downward position to give it more clearance. There are three points of contact on all Zeiss, on all these old Zeiss, three points of contact. In this case, two are centrable, but one is spring-loaded. You want to push it towards the front, which is spring-loaded. You see that piston moving? See that piston moving? That's telling you it's working. And then you lift it out, like that. In reverse, down in the front, push on the lever, drop the back in. Same thing in reverse, take it out, push against the spring-loaded lever, lift the back out, and it comes right out. This is pretty easy to do. Once you get used to it, you can do it blindfolded. I've been doing it for 40 years to be a second nature, but people are afraid of these things. I want to show you, let me take a look down on here. So I just took the stage off to show you what happens without that. Off. Remember, you got a little dovetail here. That's what you want to push against this front. So you want to clear that front area like this. Push against, drop it down. That's simple. Thank you. Now we have the uh, classic situation of the binocular tube. What do we do with it? Let's assume it's starting on and you want to take it off. Uh, first thing you look for is right here. You should see a little bit of gap there, a couple threads. You loosen that two or three turns, push toward that point and lift up. You always push toward that point because that's the point that's spring loaded. And I want to show you that up top here, this is a piston. This has five different pieces in it, this little ordinary set screw, very German, five pieces, very well made. You do not want to take this all the way off. You do not need to. As long as this is going all the way in, that's as far as you need to go. Trying to get this back on again, you can easily strip the thread. Now, here's the technique. Take a look at this mount. It is a dovetail. These two points are set. They have screws on top of them, which is a nice way to keep them in place. So the screws on top of these screws, don't mess with these if you don't have to, don't touch them. Unless it's not going on or coming off, then you need to touch them. And that's a very delicate adjustment. But once it's set right, it's right forever unless somebody messes with it. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the action that you use and you push against and drop it down. Push against and drop it down. Then you tighten it up. And when it's tight, it'll stay in place. You take loosen it slightly. It should move around smoothly and nicely like that. That's also very German. Smooth and nice. Take it off. Put it on. If it's set right, it's that easy. Thanks.